All right, so we're on our 30-day expedition of what is sovereignty, and this is day number two. So we've got a lot of days ahead of us. We've got a lot to explore. We're going to really have a very clear idea about what this, uh, what this word means and what it means for you by the end of our 30 days. And today we're going to dive into the sword, the sword of truth. So it makes me think of, you know, there's many traditions that I love to study, the, the priestess path, the um, Buddhist path, especially Tibetan Buddhism, the Taoist path, so many different journeys to explore in this spiritual realm, in this world of many beautiful spiritual traditions. And so in the Avalonian tradition, um, when proclaiming that you are ready to follow your own truth and to make the changes in your life that are necessary to bring you into a more enlight enlightened state of being in this human form, then the, you have to basically first you start by calling the barge, which is like calling the boat to you. And this is a proclamation that lets uh, everyone around you know and lets more than anything lets yourself know that you are ready to follow your heart and to listen to your own truth. So that's step number one is to call the barge. And then from there you part the mists. And parting the mists means um, getting to the root of what it is that you've been stuck on. You know, what it is that's been covering your truth or that you've been allowing to... Um, to keep you from really, really seeing your truth very, very clearly. So parting the mists is a very, very crucial and important step. The next step is to claim your sword. So taking your sword, you know, in this Avalonian or priestess path, it's Excalibur is the name of the sword. That's the Arthur's sword, King Arthur. And um, when you take that sword of truth, and I have so many times in my life picked up my sword of truth, and it's a scary thing to do, but then once you actually are holding it and you're doing it, you feel so empowered and you feel like, yes, this is the right thing, this is the true thing, and I am on my sovereign path. So that very much is the, the place where you call in your sovereignty in that moment of picking up the sword. And then from there, you get to cross the, cross the waters, right? So then as you cross the waters, you reach a new shoreline. And that new shoreline is, is the new you, the new lifestyle that you're creating for yourself. And then the final step is to settle into that and to rest into that. So that is what I have for you on sovereignty today, and I'll see you soon.